Hi, I'm Ryan Payne with Garage Gurus, and today I have a tech tip for you on connecting your DVOM in series with the battery cable to diagnose parasitic battery drains. Let's get over to the vehicle and take a look. All right, so we're now over here at our Bronco, uh, and I've pre-staged a couple of things just to kind of keep this a, a short and sweet tech tip for you. Um, so you can probably see here, I've already disconnected um, the negative battery cable. Um, it's a little bit tedious, right, because what I want to do is I want to disconnect it, but never have the battery completely disconnected from the vehicle. Um, so kind of how you have to do it, again, a little bit of finesse is kind of pull it up off the post, but before the clamp comes off of the post, I'm sliding my alligator clamp up underneath of it. That's my black lead from my meter and connecting it to the post. Um, and then I grab my red lead, I put it on the battery cable itself, and then I can pull uh, the cable off and get a measurement. Before we do that, uh, we'll talk about this piece right here real quick. Um, so this piece is something I would commonly use. Um, again, I did use it earlier uh, when I was diagnosing this before I uh, uh, decided to, to film this. Um, but why I use this, why I like to use this is, it gives me a quick and easy way um, with the screw here to disconnect and reconnect the battery cable. So let's say, um, you know, I forgot, like I mentioned, uh, I forgot a, a fuse a block in the trunk and I need to get back there. Or let's say it's, it's underneath the rear seat. Um, and so instead of having to try to, you know, finesse this cable back on the post, all I got to do is just screw this back down tight. Now my cable is connected and I have no fear of damaging my meter. So that's the next thing I'll mention real quick. Just remember when you're measuring amperage here with a meter truly in series like we are, you know, this particular fluke here, 10 amps uh, is actually all that it can handle. Um, so if I were to have this thing in series like we're fixing to do, um, and I were to hit the unlock button, then I have a chance of popping the fuse uh, in this meter, especially if I have lights and everything else come on. Um, and so we've let it sit here uh, for about 90 minutes or so. Um, I, I believe everything is good and asleep. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull the clamp the rest of the way off. You see we're reading about you know, right around one milliamp or so right now, but we're going to pull this off. I'm going to slide this clean shop rag underneath of it. And we'll take a look at our reading. And you see, we're reading about 290 milliamps there. And again, this thing, we prepped it just like Ford asked us to, we charged the battery, um, or we went on a test drive first. We checked the battery condition. It did need a little bit of charge. We had it sit on the charger for a little bit. Um, we locked it up. The key is probably more like a hundred feet away. Um, and we've let it sit for 90 minutes. So, this is a bad test. Um, now it's going to take some further diagnosis um, to actually determine what's wrong with it. Uh, but this is a quick tech tip for you on how to use your meter if you want to use this technique uh, to measure parasitic battery drain with your meter in series. So for Garage Gurus, I'm Ryan Payne. Don't forget to smash that uh, thumbs up button in the bottom and subscribe for more tech tips like this.